just gently eased one of the tracks off so we can see the idler uh, wheels. I could unscrew each one but I'm not going to. And then that's the drive wheel at that end which the little teeth inside will go into the slot there and that's just another idler at that end nice bit of detail in there I suppose it looks like I've got to unscrew those two to release the drive motor or gearbox just to use this one off as well. That lifts off. Is that going to lift out? Yeah, that lifts out in one piece. Right, well, that actually looks. Uh, I don't know. I, I was going to say it looks like it was all glued together, but there's a couple of screws in there. Both sides. Shall we have a look inside? You can see one electric motor just there, and another one there. We'll try one side, see if it comes apart easily. gearbox in there. I don't really want everything to fall apart horribly. So I'm not going to go all the way. Where am I? Right, what can we see? Um, I can't remember what type of gear you call that when it's angled like that. But that drives the gear at the back there, which has another gear on it that drives that gear, which drives that gear, which drives that gear. So we've got a nice reduction thing going on. I get that part? Oh, it is coming apart. Oh, we can see easier now. That one just spins freely on the shaft. Can we do this in order? Can we see it? Motor, gear, drives that gear. That gear has got another gear on it. There, that one drives that one. Then that gear on that side drives that one. And then that gear on that side drives that one that's actually attached to the shaft. So we've got reduction gears. 
so we get plenty of power. So that one goes on there, that goes on the back of there. Can we get that back together? In the right place, yeah. Well, that wasn't quite as bad as I was worrying. I'm not going to take the other side apart, it's going to be identical in reverse. That screw dropped out from in there. But we need the longer screwdriver to put it back in. That's a nice looking gearbox that, nice big chunky gears in it so it should have plenty of power and plenty of strength. Did you see which way around it was? I don't remember. <coughs> It's going to have to be that way. So that's the main gearbox. Right, if we want to have a look in the turret there, I guess we're going to have to take this one off, aren't we? Well, we'll do the simple one first. We'll take that one off. These are quite loose. So there we go, little gearbox. Lots of reduction to make it slow and powerful. That'll be actually holding the turret in place. I wonder if that'll come out. Looks like there's just one screw holding it in place, but I bet there's another one under there somewhere. Looks like we might have to take the whole turret apart to get inside. Move the camera. I'm just going to go and wipe my hands because they're a bit greasy from taking the gearbox apart and things are slipping. 
Right, let's got the grease off my fingers. I think I can see how this muzzle goes up and down. That's going to turn round, there's going to be a big screw on it, I think. Right, here we go. Oh, the back's held in. Is that going to be a problem? So it's just like a big cam. It's got a spring to push it down or up as it would be. And then you've got a sloping cam there to move it. Obviously that spring goes on the end of that little knobbly bit. Here we go. Everything falling apart. Right, that goes on there. We might as well unscrew that now, haven't we? Screw doesn't want to come out. Okay, right, well, we can see anyway. We've got the motor there, a series of gears across the back there to turn this slowly. Let's see if I've got a battery we can put on there. I've right, got a 3 volt battery supply here. See that turning? So that motor works. Can we get this back together? Spring goes on there. That goes in there. Wires are all getting a little bit tight. It's all going to spring around. Okay, let's try and get some screws back in. Oh, 
I must say, some of these feel like they're stripped already. As if somebody's already taken it apart. So there's still the plastic in the thread there. Feel in tight at all. Probably should have put a bit of glue in there as well just to hold it all in place because yeah, that's bouncing up and down. Right, I'm going to do that, I'm going to take that part again, drop some glue into each plastic hole just to fill the threads.